I'm going to compute the inverse of this 4x4 four four matrix using row reduction. We'll start with something like this. We'll do a bunch of uh, row operations and we'll end up with something like this. And this 4x4 four four matrix will be the inverse. In particular, the goal of the row operations is going to be to replace these entries with zeros, next these entries with zeros, and next this entry with zeros, and then replace these with zeros, then these with zeros, then this with a zero, and along the way we will change our pivots, replace them with one. Now we'll begin. The video will go fast, so if you need to slow down or pause it, by all means do so. Now the first thing we'll do is we will put zeros in the first column. So we'll put a zero in the uh, three one entry by subtracting two times the first row. And then we'll put a zero in the four one entry by subtracting the first row. And remember that whatever we do to the left, we have to do to the matrix on the right. Now we're going to set about putting zeros in the second column beneath that 3. So we'll subtract 1 third R2 from R3, being careful to get the arithmetic right, and then uh, we'll, sub we'll add 1 third R2 to R4. And next, we're going to try to put a 0 in the third column, in the 4, 3 entry. And we'll do that simply by adding rows R3 and R4. And next we're going to make our life a little bit easier by multiplying the third row by minus 3. And that will get rid of some fractions for us. It'll be convenient to do so because next we're going to set about putting some zeros in the columns uh, above. So now let's aim to put some zeros in the fourth column above uh, the bottom entry of 1. And if we're putting zeros in a column, we can, we can do a, a couple of entries at the same time in the same step. So here we're going to subtract 2 times R4 from each of R2 and R3. And that will put uh, zeros in the 4-2 uh, spot and the 4-3 spot. And now let's divide the third row by 4 to get a pivot of 1. And now our job is to put zeros in the third column above the 1. So we will subtract R3 from both R1 and R2. And we can do that in the same step. Rows 3 and 4 stay the same. And now we'll put a pivot of, of 1 by dividing R2 by 3. So we'll do that up there. And now our last step is to put a 0 in the second column, and we'll do, or the second column, uh, first row, and we'll do that by subtracting R2 from R1. Now we have the identity on this side, and this will be our inverse matrix here, which we can check. So if we multiply these two 4x4 four four matrices together, A and its inverse, and it doesn't matter uh, which one we write first, doing this matrix multiplication, taking some care, you find that you do indeed get the identity matrix.